are so scared. Yeah. They won't open their mouth. But it can come from Northeast Ohio, from Youngstown, Ohio. And that's the way people remember former Congressman Jim Traficant. This was at his welcome home party after serving time in jail. But tonight, people are talking about him a bit differently. He's been in the hospital in critical condition since yesterday evening after being injured on a farm in Goshen Township. 27 First News reporter Jerry Ricciuti got a hold of the 911 calls placed minutes after the incident happened. For those who know Jim Traficant best, this has been a very difficult day. He used to tell my mother that he loved his horses and he loved getting out and, and doing those things on his farm. Authorities first got the call to come out to this farm in Green Township last night just before 8 p.m. Greenford Road, 165. Jim Traficant's property. We're told a man looking to buy some used farm equipment from the former congressman was the one who called for help. Tractor rolled over on him. What happened? A tractor rolled over on him. Traffigant was apparently trying to drive an old tractor into one of the barns on the property when it hit another piece of equipment and rolled over backwards. There was no cage on a tractor, so he was on the seat still in that position when EMS got there. Firefighters managed to lift the tractor off of Traffigant and paramedics immediately started CPR. He was initially taken to Salem Community Hospital, but then flown to Saney's in Youngstown, where family and friends have been ever since. You would be surprised how much that means to family when they're going through a tragedy. Nobody's turning their head or condemning. They're all there for support. The timing of, of this news is kind of eerie. Eric Murphy has been working on a documentary about trafficking since soon after his release from prison in 2009. Ironically, it was what happened on this farm, where former aides like Trafficanti and others were ordered to work for free, that led to Trafficking's conviction and expulsion from Congress seven years earlier. And now to be hurt out there doing something that he obviously loved in a place where he felt where he could be himself, uh, just very poignant. Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News. And now let's hear the story about how emergency responders got that tractor off Jim Traffigant. The Goshen Fire Chief talked to 27 First News reporter Matt Horn tonight. He continues to follow this story. He's live from outside the hospital. That's right, we're live out here in front of St. E's right now, where we're being told that Trafficant remains in critical condition after a tractor rolled on top of him Tuesday evening. Now, the call for the accident came in Green Township Tuesday evening. We're told that Trafficant was pulling a tractor into a barn when it rolled on top of him. Earlier this evening, I talked with the fire chief of the township, Todd Baird. He tells me that his team worked as fast as they could to resuscitate and to rescue the former congressman. It was just something that happened at the time. Um, not quite sure how, what, when, why, um, but it worked. A trial could be, and conviction could be over. And Baird tells me that it took his crew about 15 minutes from getting to the scene to pulling the tractor off of trafficking to getting him to the hospital. Originally, he went to the hospital in Salem, and then he was taken by helicopter here to St. E's. Coming up at 1030, we'll hear more from the fire chief and also from the congressman who was a predecessor to trafficking. But for now, reporting live at St. E's, Mount Horn, WKBN 27 First News at 10. All right, Matt, thanks. If there's any change in the congressman's condition, we'll bring it to you here on WYFX. You can also look for our website, WKBN.com. Your weather